All right, so apparently... <laughs> things, change hearts. Things have changed in yeah. Indianapolis. Uh, you know, a lot Time has gone change. on. Uh, there's been a couple of days of real improvement there from Anthony Richardson. He has really shown uh, that he is a different guy nowadays for the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, so much so that he is now the starting quarterback for the Colts yet again for the remainder of the season. Here was the Colts head coach Shane Steichen discussing the decision. I want to address, you know, Anthony's situation. You know, I've said the process, the process for a long time. And what I mean by that, it's, it's the attention to detail in everything he does, um, from the classrooms to the walkthroughs to practice to the weight room, all those little things, right? It just got to be at a higher standard. And over the last two weeks, um, he's made strides in those areas, big time strides, um, becoming a pro's pro. He's a hell of a talent. Like I've said, we've never lost faith or belief in him and his abilities. Um, and he's shown strides. He really has. And with that being said, he will be our starter again. He's going to start this week. He's going to start the rest of the season. All right. And uh, we're going to go from there. Was this only your decision? Was Jim involved? Or yeah. I talked to Chris. I talked to Jim. I talked to everybody. But ultimately, it was my decision. Oh, there it goes again. Yeah, my there ass. it goes yeah. again. My I know what ass. this is. There it goes I, again. I, I, I know what this is. This is uh, who are they playing this week? Do you guys know? Oh God, why am I? They're at on they're it? at the New York Jets. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they're they've lost three in a row. Okay, to keep any hopes alive whatsoever. And if if you're looking, like let's take a step back and look at this from an organizational standpoint. You need to find out what you have in Anthony Richardson. He didn't start many games as a rookie. He only played one year in college. In order for you to see long term. If he can be the guy, he's got to play. So clearly what he did and maybe what he was doing when you start hearing the coach talk about the off the field stuff, the meetings, all that, you know, the extra stuff around it that quarterbacks should be doing that maybe he wasn't doing, it had gotten to a point where they had to sit him down. So now it looks better, sounds better, but this also represents an opportunity for them to be able to win a game after coming off three straight losses. So it just kind of is what it is. But I also think at four and six, losing three in a row, they have an outside shot at winning their division, but not great. You'd have to admit, this is this season is about seeing what you have in your quarterback position. Joe Flacco's not the future. And with his play last week, I think it led you to think, okay, he is close to 40 years old, and we need to put back in there a guy who we need to figure some stuff about because if we end up being a 4-5 or five win team when it's all said and done this year, we're going to have a shot at drafting a quarterback. And we're going to have to look at that long and hard if we're in a position to take a guy that we might feel equally as good about, if not maybe better. So there, all those things are being considered right now, but you got to find out what you have in Anthony Richardson first. You know what I think sucks? What sucks is when coaches at the pro level talk like a a guy is a kid like he's a child like that dude did not become a professional in one week he did like, what do you mean that's cat bro that's not possible that's all not the possible. way that bro you can you can well improve. let's can we break this down <laughs> can we break I, I do have a question about this sure. so in all seriousness is there any career in which you could become a pro in one week hell no okay all right i'm gonna challenge that go ahead adult film you, you would still be an amateur. Yeah. But if, I mean, technically, you're a pro, though. But technically, they're going to list it as amateur. Well, I, I wouldn't know. I don't watch a bunch of it. I'm just throwing like, it out there. I'm just throwing I mean, it you, out there, too. Well, I could it, be all the way wrong because I don't know the end. I mean, Jonas watches a lot. Figure well, Jonas? Out, throw it out I mean, there. it's about potential at that point. All right. Like, you've got to really, like, deliver the goods. Was it like you got to, like, have a, a measurement requirement? I don't or, know. Yeah. You know, I'm not at those combines. I don't know. Uh, I don't need to feel worse. And about how does myself. it work from gender to gender? And then now in 2024, where you don't have to identify with the gender that you were born as, I mean, how does that work? I mean, that's a fair point. I'm just trying I mean, to understand since, since Q took us down this rabbit hole. And if you can become a pro in a week in an industry and get paid like that, I might be in the wrong industry. That's all I'm it saying. Is, it is. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> I might have to start looking at hey. job opportunities 
in those spaces. I, and I just places thought all you needed was a, was a camera to let that thing go public, and yeah. once you start getting paid off it, you're you're a pro. That, that, is, that is true. Is that a wrong assumption? They call it amateur if it's not done by a certain studio. Is what I've yeah. been told. Yeah, okay. is what been I've told. Heard. That's what I've been told. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, you know, I, I've had I've had conversations about porn before. You know, is it good? <laughs> I, I'm learning is, this. Is it I'm bad? learning this as we speak. What is adult film all about? Like, you know, because I had to have these conversations. You know why? I'm gonna tell you how this all came about. And I had Let's this. Hear it. I had it. <laughs> I didn't have the, the, this particular conversation with my dad. But my first conversation oh, about no. adult films oh, was no. with my dad. Let me tell you why. Oh, dad, want to no. play catch? Let me take you. <laughs> let me take y'all down the Arrington rabbit hole. I'm right, busy son. <laughs> <laughs> so. Growing up in in the nineties, son, this right? new Wesley Pipes flick is out. Gro- growing up in the nineties, the way cable worked, like you only had so many channels, right? And then cable came, and then you had like you know you had channels, but you know that it, it, it was like TV was vastly different in the nineties, and and so. I be as I got older, I was like in like what high school. Like I remember, this was my ninth grade year, my freshman year of high school. I was in my basement watching cable and fell asleep. I was watching a movie and fell asleep. I woke up to moans and groans. <laughs> I was, in fact, I didn't wake up. I was, I was awoken by moans and groans, and I was <laughs> thoroughly confused. I was confused, and I thought I had did something wrong. So I went, you know, I asked my dad the next morning. I'm like, I was like, Dad, you know, I was um, I was watching. I don't even remember I was watching, but I was watching something, and and I was like, Dad, I'm I'm just telling you, I didn't do anything wrong, but I saw some some boobs. I I saw some like stuff going on, like you know, there was like what what's the word on all of this, you know. And he was like, well, what channel were you watching? I was like, I was watching Cinemax. And he was like, oh, he was like, oh, um, well, see, here's what happens, right? There's like a time frame, son, that there's a reason why it's after dark. And and it's generally after people who are in school. It wasn't ninth grade. It was like seventh grade. It was like seventh grade. Cause I was active after that. I remember that, like things started to happen after yeah. I saw that. I mean, this, Anyways, this, it's like seventh, eighth grade. This seventh does grade. explain quite a bit. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, now now so, we know where the so seed, he's like. Listen, seed like was planted. He's like, you know, guys are supposed to be sleep, and who's ever awake at that time? And this is the funniest junk because my dad used to hit me with funny stuff like, like. When I heard PMS for the first time, I was like, Dad, what does PMS mean? He said possible murder suspect. So he would hit us with, like, funny stuff like that, right? And my dad said, after dark, son, is for married married husband. <laughs> he said, after dark is for married husbands. And he said, and you don't need to, to, to know what that means until you get to that place, son. But just understand, you're not married. So you need to go to sleep and you need to go to bed and you need to be getting ready for the next day, whatever has in front of you. And that was the conversation. That was the conversation. Now, that wasn't the what what, what separates adult from, you know, or pro from from <laughs> amateur. But that was my introduction to talking about porn, though. <laughs> it's I don't know. It was and I felt like it was hardcore porn, but they say it's softcore. I, you know, I don't know, but. I mean, but then once I got married, I understood <laughs> what he was talking about. I, I and, mean, and I do understand what possible murder suspect represents as well. So I mean, shots out to all the ladies, but I'm just saying this is kind of real. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it does. That that answered a lot of questions I've had over the past three plus years. I think it's bull crap <laughs> that Brady <laughs> totally railroaded me about the like throttle down he on the fact that you can't become a pro. Like you're going to throw. I, it I was in there testing like, the a, theory. I don't know why. I mean, you might be right. You might I mean, be right. I'm you just might be right. out there, man. You might be right, but I'll say in this case with Anthony Richardson, he did not become a pro in one week. That's what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, it just, unless it's hip thrusting and he's got a chance that way, I don't know. Maybe he did some real good hip thrusting. I mean, this whole Diddy case has really shed a lot of light on how people get to. Can become you give pros. us an update 
on the Diddy case? I, I haven't really know. seen or read much. I've, I've lost. I, I mean, I, I've never had interest in it, but I haven't been paying attention to it. I don't know. It was just a funny little little zip, little, <laughs> little bit, you know. <laughs> little dip. <laughs> little, little dip. You know little what it is? Yeah. It is uh, w- when they're talking, when they make the decision that, look, this is for the foreseeable future when it comes to Anthony Richardson. And it's then, like for half. And then, like, everyone's asking the question, like, hey, man, Joe Flacco doesn't look like the same guy he was in Cleveland. Uh, you know, you making a switch? Like, no, he's going to be our guy. But, man, what a difference 48-plus hours makes because uh, all of a sudden Anthony Richardson He's really showed himself. He's like, a pro. <laughs> He's done everything right. He's been amazing. Like, come on, dude. That's all the way, Cap. It's like, Jim Ursay said exactly what Q said. <laughs> like, bruh, I invested in this dude. I need to know what I got. I need answers. Put him in the game. Yes, I need answers. Put him in the game. Like, like you better stop playing games around he, here. He, he basically missed last year because of health, and he's missing this year because of health and needing to take a rest in the middle of a game. Like, I got to get some answers here so we know what direction we're going in the offseason. Hey, stinking. Hey, hey, stinking ass. Is it going to be you or is it going to be Richardson? We better find out. And we better find out soon. Like, there's no way Shane Steichen legitimately believes that anybody's going to buy that garbage. You didn't like my zinger? You didn't like my bit? <laughs> that <Stankin>. was nothing. Because <laughs> what he's doing right now, he ain't Shane Steichen. He's Shane Steichen. I just, like, does he really think anybody's buying that? Like, everybody understands, like, what the reality is. And so now, you know, Anthony Richardson's going to be the guy, and... I mean, at least we're going to get some answers if he stays healthy by the end of the season. To, to LaVar's point, though, this literally sounded like a parent-teacher meeting I had recently for my kindergarten. Yeah. I mean, she's been doing so well. Yeah. Doing all the things that we ask her to I do. I don't need that. She's, she's bringing in her stuff. She's putting her stuff away in her I, cubby. I don't need she's that. She's washing her hands. She's yeah. making sure to be a good listener. I don't need that. In all seriousness... Isn't that part of the process when you're going through evaluating quarterbacks from college to the NFL? Like those are the intangibles that you should already know whether you or not they have. Already have a fix on it. One hundred percent. If you know the guy isn't doing that in college, and granted one year starting, but still, if you know that then, <clears throat> what makes you think he's gonna change once he gets money? Because he's incentivized to? Mm. And if I something mean, doesn't, and if something doesn't make sense to you, then you don't invest that high of a draft pick in it. Yeah. You when you invest that high of a draft pick, you're saying this is a guy that is going to help and change our our football team or make uh, our football team better. Yeah, but that throw against Houston Week One, I don't know. Man. Oh, it was awesome. That what might a throw. That might cancel out everything he's ever done wrong mm. in his life. Yeah. Well, Jim Irsay certainly feels that way. This yes, does. It was my decision. No, it wasn't stinking. <laughs> you stank. Damn. That was Jim's decision. We ain't heard Jack from from Jim. By the way, I ain't heard nothing from Jim. You usually hear something. He'll usually pop up here and there during the course of a year. We ain't heard nothing from Jim Irsay. Well, I was usually busy from about two to seven uh, Dang. each week, leaning on that so. tree. I don't know. Singing that song. I don't know. With just boots and a cowboy hat on (laughs) and a jock strap.